Hi friends! How are you today? My name is Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, and we are going to make cards and we're going to have a lot of fun today. So let me just make sure that we're coming on live. We are. I'm so glad. Okay, here we go. Good. I'm good to see that we're that we're live. Um, how are you doing today? Happy Wednesday. I've been thinking about all of our uh, friends. Hi, Roz. Roz, how is it in Florida? Linda, how are you? We've been, I've been praying for Florida and watching the news. Cindy from Canada, good to see you. You got a, a pedicure, I think I saw. How are you doing? Um, there's a lot going on all over the world. You know, hurricanes, fires, all kinds of stuff. Um, Tina from Granite Falls, North Carolina. Are you in the path of the hurricane, Tina? I know the people on the east edges might be. Oh yes, I'm gonna tell you all about Las Vegas. Oh boy, was it fun. Yes, Cindy got a pedicure, that's what I thought. Okay, how nice. Ellie's hair is itching me a little bit. Um, well, okay, are you ready to hear about Las Vegas? I wanna see how many are on, because I know everybody's gonna wanna hear about about it. You had a pedicure while your dogs were in their spot. That's right. That was so adorable. I remember that. That was so cute. I saw that. I love when you guys post on Facebook and I can see all, all of what you're doing too because you hear what I'm doing. <clears throat> well, I got back. Not in the path, Tina. Okay, good. Okay, Linda. Yes, we had a great, great time. Ellie, she was so excited to have me home. <clears throat> She's been right with me the whole the whole time, right next to me, and I've been glad to be home too. We miss each other. We definitely do. <clears throat> so yes, Las Vegas. So um, Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Stampin' Up event was called Backstage, and it was for all those demonstrators that have a certain title, Silver Elite and above. And so there were 750 Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Ross, okay, let's hear about Ross. <clears throat> You're a little wet. Thankful the storm headed further west and north. Nasty storms during the night and then this afternoon. You got about three inches of rain, blustery and gusty winds. Okay, glad you're okay. Um, glad you're okay, Roz. So, okay, 750 demonstrators from all over the world. You guys, they were there from England, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, Belgium, France. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some areas, but they were from all over. I'm gonna put Ellie down. She really wants to take her nap. And it was so much fun. So we had a lot of um, key speak. We had key speakers and we had breakout sessions. Um, it was really fun. Um, they, <coughs> excuse me, they fed us lunch. So the first night we got there, there was a time for swapping. <coughs> Sorry, the air conditioner is on. It's over 100 here today. So just let me have a little sip. And my throat gets dry. Um, so the first night, um, we were there Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday. And the the first night we did our swaps out by the pool and you guys know I posted a whole bunch of pictures for you and I'm going to show you some of the swaps not all of them but some of them today because I did the fun fold swaps then Friday we went into our sessions and um, all day in different sessions Friday night I had dinner with the pals you guys know I'm my upline is Mary Fish and she has demonstrators all over the US and there were only eight of us that went some many could have gone but did not go to this event um, Mary did not go um, which we all wish she would have been there but so there were eight of us and we had dinner together um, 
on Friday night. And then Saturday we were in sessions all, all day. And Saturday at the end, they brought on a Beatles band to play for us, from a Las Vegas Beatles band. And they were really good. They played three Beatles songs. They hung around. We got our pictures taken with the Beatles. And then they announced that they were taking us to see the show on the Strip. We were at this Red Rock Resort, which is out from the Strip, about 20 to 25 minutes. And they announced, we are taking you to a show on the Strip. And it's, um, it's called The Beatles Love, and it's a Cirque du Soleil show, which I had never been to a Cirque du Soleil show, which I, I've been and I still can't really, I don't know for sure that they're all like this, but it was a lot of acrobatics. And what they did is they played, it was a 90 minute show where they played so much Beatle music. And then they did acrobatics and dancing and things to it. And they were coming up out of the ceiling. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds came out of all kinds of sparkly ceiling wearing things that look like diamonds. And um, they had Sergeant Pepper. They had so many things I can't even remember. And they had actual Volkswagen bug cars that came up on the stage. The, the floor went down, the floor came up, people came up from the top and down from, you know, up from the bottom, down from the top. Oh my gosh. I think one of the highlights was they had a Volkswagen bus that was all painted psychedelic. They brought that onto the stage and then they had acrobats got, I think it was mostly guys, but I don't know because you really couldn't tell. But they were jumping onto the top of the Volkswagen bus and back on the ground. They had like pads down there and there were like 20 of them or maybe more. And so at any one time, you see all these people like two at a time would jump on the top of the Volkswagen bus where there were already two or three up there and they're up and down and up and down. Oh my gosh, Margaret Gordon, hello. I saw some of your friends from Australia Yes. Oh, it was amazing. You have seen a Cirque du Soleil show. Yeah. And, and it was the Beatles music. It was just amazing. And they took us all on buses, you guys. It took 16 buses to take all 750 of us from the hotel or the conference center where we were to the, to the strip and to the show and back. It was really amazing. Um, it was really, really fun. And we learned stuff and got goodies. You saw that we all got, um, I didn't wear it today, Beatles Love t-shirts. They gave us all those and we just had a wonderful time. But I missed you guys, that's why I kept posting and I did a little video and um, I can't remember how many people I told that I had such great um, YouTube and Facebook followers because you guys are just amazing. Yeah, we did have a great time. Okay, I'm back. So there is a lot of news. I want to talk about the news and then I'm going to show you some of my fun fold cards that I got. Um, and they are great. I got 20, about 24 fun fold cards in the fun fold swap that I did there. Yes, I missed you. Um, so the new the new holiday mini catalog, which one week from today, you guys, it goes live on the 6th. So next Wednesday, when we meet, we're going to take a look at it together. This is the cover. I can't show you the inside, but this is the cover. And that is the big news. Okay, so a couple of things in anticipation of this catalog. I'm offering two different things. One is paper and ribbon shares, product shares. All the papers, let's see, I wrote it down. Um, you will get a quarter of a pack of every paper available in the catalog. That's 136 six by six sheets. And um, for $55 is my price for that. Um, I'm also doing a ribbon share. You'll get 27.5 yards of the beautiful ribbons for $22. And if you want it all, that's $77. And all of them have a one-time shipping fee because I'll put it all in one package. So those are my shares, okay, product shares. And trust me, I'm gonna show you one of the papers today. I've shown you a lot, but we're gonna use one today. Okay, 
I have a brand new Faith Creations class for you. You guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful class, and I'm going to tell you a little something. Um, already from the catalog, one item has gone on, well, they call it not orderable, and what that means is it is coming back, but you can't order it now. And that is the Them Bones Dies. Okay, so we have still a week of demonstrators pre-ordering. And I hope none of these goodies go, this doesn't happen to any of the class I'm preparing for you. But the class I'm preparing for you is the Night Divine class, okay? Here is the stamp set. It has beautiful, traditional sentiments and Bible verses and hymn, um, hymn verbiage. I love these words for the faith cre our faith creations class. And then the, the other big thing about this bundle is that it has the whole dies of the whole nativity set, you guys the whole nativity set. I've never seen this from Stampin' Up! So I think it's so beautiful that I've created the class and what I want to tell you is I always order, always order for my shares and everything. I order like the minute it opens. I'm awake and I order right then. So if you were planning on ordering, if you're a customer and you were plan on, planning on ordering this bundle, um, I would encourage you to take my class and allow me to order it for you the minute it goes live on the 6th, which is like in the middle of the night, but I'll be awake and ordering. Hi, Allison. So uh, <clears throat> I'm offering it with the bundle. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And um, I'll tell you more about my pricing later. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I usually do three designs, two cards of each design. This time I'm throwing in an extra design because this bundle is so beautiful and the sweet. And you're going to get um, half a pack of, of the designer series paper, which is amazing, half a pack of the specialty paper. You're going to get a full roll of this beautiful navy blue and gold sparkle ribbon. You're going to get a full package of the stars, the gold stars, all to make the cards that I have prepared for you. Okay, so that you're going to make two of each of these designs. You know I don't hold them up too long because I want you to want to get my kit. Okay, so here's the first one. Isn't that pretty? With the nativity. Okay, here is the second one, the camels to signify the three wise men and some gold. I think that's kind of their saddle, but I couldn't see where the gifts were, so I think it looks good. Okay, this is, I think, the most beautiful sentiment, and it's using both the specialty paper down here, and then this is, this is some of the regular DSP. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and this is my favorite one. This is the fourth and final one of the, it says, O Holy Night on the front, and it opens up like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, you're going to get all the materials to make these, the PDFs, four PDFs. You're going to get a video showing you how to make them and all the supplies. So the kit itself with all of that and not the bundle is $45. But you can't make the cards unless you have the dies that make the nativity scene. So Roz loves it. She probably, she, I don't know if you have it yet, Roz, but um, so if you're a demo, you might have, if you're a demonstrator, you might have this bundle already. But if you're a customer and you were anticipating getting it, um, the best way to get it is to get it through my um, ordering it through my kit. So the price of the kit plus the bundle is only $85. Now the bundle itself without tax or shipping is $48.50. So you can figure that out. The kit itself is $45. If you add $48.50 on that, it's more than $85. So I'm giving a big discount on the bundle. Um, and that's because I want you to get this kit because it's so spectacular. It's like a lifelong kit. I will keep this rather bundle. I will keep this bundle 
um, I think, well, I mean, it's hard to say for your life, but you know, this is going to be one I'm going to keep a really long time. So if you want to sign up, um, go ahead and just email me. And starting tomorrow, I'm sending out the um, PayPal invoices. Now, I have to tell you another fun thing. Um, when I was at the backstage event this weekend, um, I maybe haven't told all of you, but I have been working hard all year to earn what they call the incentive trip, which is a trip that Stampin' Up! puts on every year. And if you earn it, if you get enough po what points, that they have a whole thing about how you get points. You earn the trip and you get a trip paid by them for two people, five nights for you and a guest, all food included, everything included. And so I've been working at it, you guys, and I am really, really close. I am so close. The, um, the trip this year, so you take it next April, and it's to Cancun. And it's to a five-star resort on the Caribbean, hopefully not in hurricane season. I don't think they have hurricanes then. But um, this, this is what I've been working for, and I am like really close. So I'm going to just throw it out there and ask you that um, if you would possibly, if you were going to order a few items, would you order a few extra items from me? tack on a little something else to help me get to my goal. Part of it is sales and part of it is team building. And if you might not have thought you would buy my uh, paper shares my or my shares or my uh, class to go, I would really ask you to buy it because I'm really working. I'm watching every day to see if I've earned the trip. Um, Yes, so if you would just do a little bit more than you might normally do, and I thought if everybody does a little bit more, um, I'm, I might make it. I have to, the deadline is September 30th, so I've got just a month to go. And so I talked to some ladies that had already earned the trip many times at, when I was at Backstage in Las Vegas, and they're like, you need to tell your people that you're working for this. And so on their advice i thought i would tell you guys and i will definitely keep you posted okay because i'm looking um september 30th is um the last day for me to earn to earn the trip and then the trip isn't until next april but the deadline is this september 30th so um, one month from today so that's why i'm that's why i'm kind of telling you oh you guys are so sweet um I really do want to go on the trip. They, you know, the rooms are beautiful. They've already shown, it's a five star resort, you guys. It's all, everything all encompassed. Okay, I want to show you some, some of the swaps that I got. You guys are so sweet, thank you. Okay, let's turn you down and we're gonna start looking at some of the swaps. Okay, they are so fun. And okay, this one, so I have tried to put the names of the, demos on the back so we know who was the one who uh, made this. What I love about this one, let me get it in the camera so you can all see it. What I love about this one is that it's actually designer series paper. You know, we did this last year, or well not last year, earlier this year we made a card where it showed both sides of the designer series paper. Um, thank you, Tina. Um, so this this is, I, I don't know, let's see if it has a name. I don't think it has a name, but I think this is cute. We'll definitely be making that. Okay. This one is my friend, Dr. Robin. This is her fancy fun fold. And it looks just normal, but check this out. So it opens like this and check out the inside, you guys. So it opens up just like this. Look at that. Isn't that neat? So it has this box. We're gonna make this one day too. So it has it has that little box. That is a little bit more complicated. We did this at a joint class and some of the ladies had a bit of trouble with it. This one, we've seen these before and they're very fun. And this pokes out like that. And let me see if I know the name. I don't know the name of this one. Maybe you guys probably do. 
um, and made with the cu these cute little guys, the Zoo Crew. I really love those guys. This one I really like, and it could be because it's pink, um, but it flips up here, and then it pulls out down here, and has, so it's kind of a, let me put it down here so you can see it. So that flips up, and this part pulls out. So you can set it kind of like that. If you're putting, I like it. I think it's very cute, and I love the way she did it. I love the colors. Oh, I forgot. It's also a gift card holder up here. Yeah, and I love the way she colored that little bird. So these are super cute. That was Judy Anderson. All right, this is an amazing. I've got two totally amazing, and this is one amazing, and this is by Sandra Roberts. I don't know where she lives. Okay. This is how it starts. Check this out, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it has those squares. That's what I noticed is a lot of them have the little squares in there. But isn't that just gorgeous? And then you can write on the back. I love that card. Really love that. Okay, this is really the wildest one. And this is made by um, a friend of mine, Lisa Ann Bernard in Idaho. She was there. So here it is, happy. Okay, let me make sure I have it right. Okay, you open it like a card and check this out. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Is that wild or what? I'm gonna figure out how to make this because I like it so much. Hi, Linda Brady. Good to see you. So I thought that I will figure this out and then we'll have a day when we'll, we'll make this together. But I am just in awe of this card. It's just out of control. <laughs> Love that. It's a wow. You're right, Cindy. So then I want to show you two different cards that are similar. Okay, this one is by... Um, Mar Margaret Peggy Toldy of Colorado and hers is an official sidestep card and hers opens like this and we've all seen the sidestep card I don't think I've ever made one but what you do is you cut a slice down here and then you score at different places and it's super cute made with a little bear yes Kathy it is <laughs> And so, you know, people use brand new stuff. It's really cute. But a friend of mine, Beth McCullough, who is part of um, Mary Fish's Stamp and Pretty Pals, she made this one, which is, it looks the same, but it's faux, F-A-U-X for like false, layering leaves faux sidestep card. So you don't have to cut that slit, and yet it has pretty much the same the same look. So when you put them both up there, you don't, let me put them down, you don't necessarily know that one took probably a lot more work because you had to cut that inside slit. So this is the faux sidestep card. So I thought we would make one of these today, but, so I'm going to show you the rest of my, in succeeding times, I will show you more of my um, fun fold cards. But for today, let me set these aside and show you. I'm going to use, and I can't show you the catalog yet, but I wanted to kind of debut a suite that I hadn't used. And we're going to use the Winter Meadow Suite. If you have your catalog, it's on page 36 and 37. And here's my little faux sidestep card using all the things from the suite, the Winter Meadow Suite. And I just wanted to show you all the papers, everything that goes with it, okay? Isn't that pretty? I love the colors. Um, it has the mauve color, Moody Mauve, and Lost Lagoon, which I think are beautiful. It has, so let me just show you. I could just go on and on, but let me show you. Here is the bundle. The Mag Magical Meadow is the stamp set and the die set. Magical Meadow. And it has kind of an interesting, 
these little inside kind of view stamps. So it's a little different than ones we've had before. And then wonderful uh, dies, which, which cut everything out, but also have additional leaves and stuff. And then the ribbon, here's the ribbon. It's um, silver, she silver lined sheer ribbon, which is very pretty. The gems are really pretty also. These are called the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. We're gonna use some of those. This is kind of smoky slate, I think, white, and I think that's Lost Lagoon. And I wanted to show you the papers because these are some of my favorite papers in the whole, um, in the whole catalog, they really are. So this is called Winter, um, Winter Meadow Paper. I want to try to get the name right. So this suite has um, regular DSP two-sided, and it also has one. Do you, Linda? It's it is beautiful, and it is prettier in person. And then it has some specialty paper, and we're going to use both of them today. I'm going to show them to you. So the back sides are a watercolor look. This is so beautiful. So it comes up from both. Both corners have the beautiful foliage coming up, and more. That's really pretty. This is, it's either gray granite or smoky slate, I can't remember, but it also has um, the deer in shadows, which is very pretty on both ends, so you can cut this in half and use it as a cart backing. This one I think is very pretty, and let's see the back of this. Yeah, this is just a real muted. Now this, I have to say, I think is my favorite because it has the mauve in it, the moody mauve and the lost lagoon. And that is a very beautiful back. And then we're using this today too. I think that is so pretty. And there's the back of that one. So those are the papers, Winter Meadow. And then I love the name of the specialty paper. It's called Snowflake Magic. And so here, it's three, three different sheets. You get two of each. So it has the white with silver. We're going to use this today. Then it has, um, I forget what color this is, with the white snowflakes. Very beautiful. And you get two of those. And then this one is rich and deep. This is Lost Lagoon. So you get two of each of these sheets. I've already been cutting into them and wanted to save my others. So that is the whole suite. So let's get started making our card, and I'm going to show you. And if you want to take notes about the um, the scoring and cutting for the different pieces to make this faux uh, sidestep card. So the base is not eight and a half by five and a half; it's eight by five and a half. So that's what what I have here. Peacock. It could be. Let me see. Let me just look here. Um. It just says Lost Lagoon and Silver, but Peacock is definitely in the um, regular designer series paper. Okay, so we've got our card base is eight by five and a half, and we're gonna start scoring at three. We're gonna score first at three inches, then we're gonna score another three inches, so that's the six inch line, okay. Now, we could score at seven because that's where we need to do it, but I'm just gonna flip it around and score at one. So it's basically score at three, six, and seven. Okay, so there is, um, let me get out my bone folder here and my glasses on and we are gonna get to work. So we're just gonna uh, really press down these folds really burnish them and this is what really creates the card okay so let's see the card goes like this up and down okay so that's our card just like that and I'll show it to the side so you can see it and let me just burnish those a little bit better all right, so that's our card base. And then what we need is a piece of designer series paper that is 
um, five and a quarter by two and three quarters. So this is where I'm going to use that pretty mauve paper. And we're going to go ahead and adhere it. This is the back, so we don't need to put anything in there, on there. So we're just going to use a little bit of glue. And just like, let's see, just like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is put a little strip of that beautiful white ma snowflake magic paper. Look at how pretty that looks right on there for a strip, right on the front. She didn't do that on the front, but I just wanted to use this paper, so I decided to do it. So we're just going to put it right on here. Okay, and then we're going to cut our second piece, kind of, you might call it the fold over piece. All right, while well, we let that dry. In fact, I think I did already cut it. Um, so this is Lost Lagoon, and this is cut an overlap piece, I guess I called it, six by three. And then we score this at one and three quarters. Right there, so six by three, scoring at one and three quarters. They are beautiful colors. They're just, I think that's what drew me to this suite is just the beautiful colors. Okay, so on top of this, we're gonna put this pattern, which I thought think is so pretty, and I didn't cut that so we could cut it together. And this, um, it's already at two and three quarters. We need a two and three quarters by four piece. So I've already got two and three quarters, so let me cut it at four. And this will then go on, I hope I did that right, it looks a little short. No, it's four, okay. Um, this is the piece that's going to go on the front of this overlapping piece, just like that. So we'll get this on, and then we'll adhere them together, and I'll show you how it works. So it, all of them have, you know, the same border, that little one-eighth border that normally we have. Okay, so this is our main piece, our card base, and then this is our overlapping piece that's going to go over like that. All right, so what I discovered is um, what all we need to do is put these, put this at the very, line it up with the end of the bottom end of our card base come in about a half to three quarters of an inch and we're just going to adhere it with glue right under there to that one inch piece. I don't want the glue to come out but I want to make sure that I have plenty of glue in there. I'm going to do kind of like that because I want to make sure it sticks. And then you just press it down like that. Just making sure that it's right at the base there. Just like that. Give that, whoops, slid a bit. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to just check underneath to make sure no glue came out. So nothing came out back here. That's a good thing. And then with that secure, we just fold the card up, and wherever it lands on the back is where we're going to adhere it. And it's about a half at the half inch mark. So let's get our glue on the bottom half, like a, a half an inch here. Put plenty of glue so it really sticks. And just press that down. And this is gonna create, then you just decorate, okay? This creates the faux, F-A-U-X, sidestep card just like that and there is it stand it is standing up you guys can't really see it standing so much but it's really I think it's really cute you can see in between the sides but we didn't have to do that kind of cutting that's more a look just a little bit more complicated this is an easier way to do it which I really appreciate that it's nice and easy so now all we need to do is do our decorations. So let me see. Here's the way I decorated it before. 
because I just wanted to use the dies and the stamps and everything, the gems and the ribbon. So that's what I think we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead now and uh, bring up our little Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. And we're just going to start cutting out some of these uh, kind of free, freestanding, I might say, dies. These are just leaves and branches that do not go with any stamp. And so we can just cut them. I've already um, kind of pre-cut little pieces of that beautiful Snowflake Magic specialty paper. And we're just going to run these through here and cut a few because they glimmer so much. Let me show you the sample. I don't know if you can see. Can you see how much these glimmer? If I put them down there, this the paper really is so pretty. I, I just love the way it glimmers. That's why I wanted to use it because it is very sparkly. I suppose I could have run this through two times, but I didn't. And it's still fine. But I want to be really careful not to tear any of the they're kind of pine branches, I think. They're like pine branches. Isn't it just gorgeous? Let me put it up way up so you can see it. So pretty. Okay, now we're going to cut out... Um, I've got quite a bit of this. Let me see here. I wanted to cut a couple of this one. It's more muted. And I, I like the combination of the two. And this is then a different, a different die, a little bit smaller, but different. And you know, cutting a bunch of these. Hi Kay, good to see you. How is hurricane weather for you? I see you're just popping on, let us know. being very careful because we don't want to pull off any branches. Okay, so there's the muted one. And you can see the difference between the shiny and the muted, but I like them both together. And then I think I want to cut a smaller one. I thought I had a third one, but I guess maybe I did two of the muted. Uh, two of that smaller size. So let me just cut a little bit more here and do another one of those. That's the smaller one. Because, of course, in card making, well, my philosophy, a, a person who loves layering cards, more the more the better, right? The more the better. <laughs> more ribbon, more bows. Hi, Jean. Okay. Hard rain, just starting, no wind yet. Okay, good. Stay safe, my friend. Okay, I think I'm just, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm just going to see if this won't get, get this started popping out. Don't do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> Let's see if we can get these all to come out here without tearing. Here we go. Okay, so now we've got three of those. And now the next thing we're going to do is do a little stamping. And I'm going to show you. You probably, you guys are so experienced. I bet you've done this. But I thought I might show you. So here is the stamp of these little berries. At first I thought maybe they were pomegranates. But I, they, they're not growing like pomegranates. Pomegranates grow on a tree. So I think they're just berries, but you never know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm, I'm going to use the Moody Moth for the berries. And this is, how do you get two colors on one stamp? Okay, so you cannot use um, blends because they're alcohol markers and they don't work when coloring stamps. So you want to make sure to use the water-based products which are your ink pad and your stamp and write markers. 
and I think most of you know that they redesigned our stamp and write markers this year. You're welcome, Kay. We have been praying for you. Oh, cranberries. Okay, good idea, Renee. So these are new uh, stamp and write markers, and the uh, pointed end has been redesigned. And I'll tell you, I like it so much better. They they write really well and keep the ink really well. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the pointed end though. I need the brush end. I'm going to color the leaves on this stamp with the, the brush end of my stamp and write marker. And I'm going to try to just get in there. And I know it does tend to dry, but we're going to do the huffing technique. You know, huff on the stamp before we actually stamp it. So I'm coloring the tops of the I'm going to call them berries. Oh, I didn't want to color the berry in that color. Okay. I won't. I'll do something. I'll sh make up for it. Okay, so we're coloring all the leaves in the Lost Lagoon. And then we're going to color the berries, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that, in the um, Moody Moth using a um, blender pen. And I'm just getting the ink on here, and I'm going to cover that that Lost Lagoon that I put on there by mistake. I'm just going to cover that up. And it it has an interesting look anyway when you do your inking this way, so I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. It'll probably just look like we did it on purpose. You know how people don't know when we do things on purpose. We make a mistake and then they think we did it on purpose and they say, oh, that looks so great. Okay. So I'm coloring the baby berries with Moody Mauve using a blender pen. And these are inexpensive. They're in our catalog if you've never used one. Now I'm just going to go back in because I see that I didn't color this little top knot part here with the Lost Lagoon. Okay, now let me get out my piece of scratch paper. I'm going to do the huffing. <sighs> to get moist air on the stamp and check it out. Not too bad, huh? It really works and I like it. I like doing that because it's an easy way to get a couple of colors on a stamp. So now all we have to do is cut this out with the corresponding die from the die set. Stamper's breath, <laughs> yes. I remember that. I remember that. Uh, I think it was Ross. A similar, a kind of similar paper, yes. Okay, so let's get this um, just ready and we'll just cut this. And then we'll put our card completely together. Oh, we're going kind of late because I had a lot to show you today. I hope you don't mind. But we did have a lot to look at and talk about. Okay. So now we're ready. We've got all of our pieces parts. The one piece we don't have is our sentiment. And I'm going to use Winter Wishes from the stamp set. Let me stamp that real quick. In the um, Moody Mauve. It looks really pretty in this color, and it's a, it's a nice font. It's a nice thin font. And I'm just going to snip it out really quick. I'm going to show you how quickly you can snip out your sentiment. Just really quick. You guys know I like to do this because then I can fit my sentiment in a lot of places that I wouldn't otherwise be able to. Let's see, let me round that just a bit around there and there's our sentiment already trimmed okay where's the card here we go okay so what we're going to decorate is this front piece and the first thing I'm going to do is put on my my leaves my branches and I'm just going to put on the tiniest dots of, of glue just tiny tiny because I don't want it to smear and get sticky on the front of the card. So tiny dots is really all you need. 
And because this has a few little berries, you can put little dots behind the berries and up and down the stem just a little bit. And that should be enough. And I'm going to put this up kind of high to take in that space there. I don't know if I like, you know, I like to leave it loose at the top so that it, and it looks a little white in there because of the white um, snowflakes that are on this paper. It's not a problem with the, with what we did. Okay. Then I'm going to bring one of these down and here one a little lower with just a little bit of glue. And you just figure out where you want to place it and then you just press. And don't move it. The problem is if you move it, then the glue gets weird. Hi, Lori. Good to see you. You saw Karen Titus showing Robin's beautiful Vegas swap card. Oh, really? Really? Oh, that's neat. I'll tell Robin. If you haven't told her, she'll be really flattered. She... Well, I don't think she invented it, but she really loved that card. And we, like I said, we had a class on it, too. And it's not, it's not totally easy. I have to tell you, I haven't even made it myself. I've just admired it and watched her make it. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, then she just tells me how to make it. But I know she has a video on it on her Stamp with Dr. Robin YouTube channel. She has a video on how to make it if you want to go over there and see it. Okay, then this little guy I'm going to tuck in here with a uh, one stamp and dimensional. These berries that we stamped, and I think they have such a neat look, almost like a watercolor look, don't you think? I'll just put those right there with the dimensional. Now we're going to do some ribbon. And I think this time I'm going to do something a little different than I didn't do on the first ribbon. I'm going to actually cut this in half. It was a little bit thick um, for putting the dimensionals around it, the dimensionals from the sentiment. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit down the middle and try to get it a bit thinner. Not sure if you ever do this to your ribbons, but um, if you think it's too wide, you just cut it down like that. And then I think we're just going to kind of do this. And let's see. I think I'm going to put it like that. How am I going to adhere that? Because I want this to go over it. Let's see here. Glue doesn't usually work with these ribbons, I've noticed. Let me just going to take a, a couple of little mini glue dots and see if I can't adhere the ribbon to that. Yep, there we go. That works. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to put our sentiment on just like that. And I think I might be able to use a full size dimensional right up under the end here. Right up under there. I can put just a full size dimensional. There we go. So we have a little bit of ribbon and the last thing is our pretty these beautiful gems. Faceted Gem Trio Pack and I really like these light blue ones. I think they're so pretty. Put one there and one down here up here. So there you go. This uses the entire suite of the Winter Meadow. The Winter Meadow. And I have a piece that goes inside in the envelope, but I'll do that later because we've gone on pretty long and we need to give away a prize. Th yes, I could have used glue dots. You're exactly right. I just really love this card. I think it's so pretty. And it's much quicker to make and I think a bit easier to make than the regular sidestep card. So we're going to continue to make some of these fun folds that I got um, at Backstage. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to give away a prize.
so the prize two weeks ago, because I haven't even seen you for two weeks, um, is Stampin' Dimensionals, a package of Stampin' Dimensionals, which, my gosh, we all need. And the winner of the Stampin' Dimensionals is Hilda Mossy. And Hilda sometimes comes on here, and she also is sometimes over on YouTube. Uh, the, on the 16th, she was over on YouTube. So Hilda, congratulations. I do have your address. If you've moved in the past six months or so, you can e email me at Peggy at prettypapercards.com, but I, I'm pretty sure you're still at the same place, so I'll get these out to you. Now for next week, our prize is a package of 22, 23 to 25 in-color treat bags. And I don't know if you noticed, if you have the catalog, the current mini catalog, they're using these a lot for Halloween treats and for uh, all kinds of holiday goodies. So this has multicolored um, bag, gift bags in it. Let me put my glasses on and see how many you get. 25 gift bags. Okay, so put the word prize if you want a prize. And don't forget paper shares. Email me for paper shares. There's also a place to sign up on my blog. And or but just email me and I'll get you all set up. And especially for the Night Divine um, kit. And if you don't have the stamp and die set, I you can get those for a great bargain for the whole kit and everything, including the bundle for only $85. Email me, I'll send you a PayPal invoice. You are going to love these cards.